Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Jordan from Territory Academy. Right now, we are going to be solving this question together. For this lesson, we will be approaching this problem from a logical standpoint, step by step, right? By breaking the problem down. Now, we are presented here with a ruler, uh, which is unmarked, and it has a length of 15 cm, right? So all we know it is a length of 15 cm, and what is the least number of markings that we can calibrate on it, such that any whole number length between 1 to 15 centimeters can be measured, right? So obviously, we could have 15 markings to measure every individual length, right? From 1 cm all the way to 15 centimeters. But that's not what the question is asking because we are given a condition here to achieve this same goal in the least number of markings possible, right? So how can that be done? So to break this problem down, let us start looking at it step by step. Now to measure one centimeter, obviously we have to have a marking of one, right? Okay, so one is definitely essential. We can't leave out a marking of one centimeters, all right? Now to measure two centimeters, okay, if we want to have two one centimeter markings, that wouldn't be very efficient, right? So instead, could we construct another two centimeter marking over here? All right. So now that we have both a one centimeter marking and a two centimeter marking, then to achieve a measurement of three centimeters, we can simply combine these two measurements over here, right? Okay. But now, notice that if you want to measure a length of 4 centimeters, currently that is unachievable if we only have 1 and 2, right? So therefore, we want to introduce a new marking of 4 centimeters, right? So let's review what we have so far. We have 1 centimeters, 2 centimeters, as well as 4 centimeters. So with these three markings in place, all right, how, what length can we measure up to this point? All right, so let's take a look. All right, notice that if you want to measure a length of five centimeters, I could combine both a one centimeter plus a four centimeter measurement. All right, and therefore, if you want to measure a length of six centimeters, I could use two plus four, right? And notice if I want to measure 7 centimeters, I could then combine all three measurements together. Alright. And notice if I want to move on to 8, I already used up all three possible measurements, right? So I'm going to have to invent another marking for 8 centimeters. Alright, so therefore I'll circle this number as well. So notice if there's a pattern regarding all the numbers that we have circled thus far. We are circling 1, and then we circle 2, and then 4, and then 8. All right? And if you are being observant enough, you'll notice that my number, or rather the length of my marking, is always doubling at each interval. All right? Double of 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, and of course 4 times 2 gives us 8. All right? And notice that therefore this pattern will continue again and again indefinitely. All right? And notice that if we have these four markings, if we were to sum up 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, that this will, in fact, give me a total length of 15 centimeters. And therefore, as shown over here, four markings, in fact, of simply 1, 2, 4, and 8 centimeters each, respectively, will actually allow us to measure any given length whole number length from 1 centimeters to 15 centimeters, All right? And therefore, 4, surprisingly, is actually the least number of markings that are required to achieve this goal, All right? So this question is actually pretty interesting because it brings up a lot of value for discussion, All right? So actually, we can approach this question from a binary point of view, All right? So in, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Binary refers to a number-based system where 
numbers only consist of 0 and 1. Numbers from 2 to 9 don't exist in this particular universe. All right. So in terms of binary, what we are saying is then, to rephrase this question in terms of a binary context, how many digits of 0 and 1 do we need so that we can compute any value from 1 to 15? And as shown over here, four markings would suggest that if I have four digits, four blanks, right, all the way from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1, all right, how many values would this consist of? Okay, from a binary perspective, all I need to do is take 2 to the power of 4 because 2 refers to the number of options that I can have for each blank. And seeing as binary, as the name suggests, has only two options, either 0 or 1, then I'll have two options, but I have to raise it to the power of 4 given that I have four digits and therefore four times of the same combination. So raising 2 to the power of 4 would actually give us 16, all right? And if, and if we disregard the first combination, which would technically have a value of 0, then 16 minus 1 would give us 15, and this proves that I could cover all 15 values between 1 and 15. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye, and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.